Hello and welcome my friends. This is the test 10 video for our recent tier limits deck profile, obviously combining our powers with the light swarms to mill gorgeous cards into the graveyard and rise in you and you know how it goes. If you missed the deck profile, check out my channel and while you're at it, hey, maybe subscribe if tier limit content is what you are after. I mean, hey, tier limits are great. So learn more about tier limits, consume more tier limits content. You, you get my drift, right? But with that out of the way, let's have some test hands. And uh, again, as always, if I fuck up something, let me know in the comments down below and we can all learn something new. Let's go. Okay, my friends, let's get into some test hands on this new tier element strongest pack. Look at Merle, look how cute she is. Oh, Sharon looking all gloomy into the distance, thinking about what card she's going to mill next, thinking about, ah, oh, when is Kit Kalos finally going to come home? Ah, soon, soon, my friends, soon Konami won't be cringe all the time, right? They are going to release new water cards, right? The sharks, you probably have seen the support for them, but they're not going to uh, yeah, be capable of extinguishing the fire. So they will unban tier element Ishizu and then tier element Ishizu, right? They will uh, yeah, splash the water onto the fire cards and then the fire will be out and we will succeed. But enough Yapin, let's get into the first task hand after I continue shuffling. Okay, gave it a good shuffle. Let's cut it once more and one, two, three, four, five cards from the top. Wish me luck, my friends, and let's go. Let's see. So already bad. We drew both of our cringe light swan cards, but we have some other cards that are decently helpful. Let's start with adding a trivi karma to our hand, or rather milling trivi karma and uh, adding Sharon, I would assume. So that's that one, two, okay. Milling Tribicama, right? Activating Tribicama by banishing, adding Pearl Rhino, Pearl Rhino effect, adding Sharon. Cut and let's go. So yeah, the thing is the Light Swan cards are all dead in hand, right? Even if we discard them with Sharon, they're not going to summon themselves because they need to be sent from deck, which uh, yeah, that's, a big issue with these Lightsborn cards, Wolf and Phyllis, they're just really shitty like that. Um, I really want to cut them down, but uh, then it's just awful. Anyway, uh, Effect Sharon, Mill 3, Happy, Rhino Heart, and Scream. Now let us think for a moment how we're going to do this. We don't really have any tears in Graveyard, so that's a bit of an issue with all meta noise. I mean, we're going to obviously activate both of them. The question is, now there's actually no real question. So activate both of them. Chain link one Rhino, chain link one, uh, chain link two Scream, um, Rhino to summon and Scream to add Saliak. Question is, what do we discard of Rhino Heart? We can get another search with Saliak, but that's not really all that meaningful. I say unless we really want to mill right now and right here but i do not want to do that uh meta noise would not really benefit us in any shape or form but i think it is the one that has to go so that has to go rhino heart effect in a new chain uh to obviously send questioners what do we send we don't really have anything sexy here in our graveyard right uh on what is it a light and a wind so we can't even make mud to dragon uh so i think we have to do the worst option the one which i despise so much so that i'm not even playing three rhino hearts but yeah i think we have to send the tier cash uh send tier cash in the new chain tier cash mill one two ah kurva uh yeah the rhino heart is a bit annoying but the vice is pretty nice uh, because vice effect activates and uh yeah in case you don't know if it's milled you can uh special summon another uh light spawn from your graveyard so at least now we have phyllis now we have um what is it called a tuner on board that's pretty nice uh yeah we have no options usually um let's think let's think uh the issue is right in case you're wondering minerva really goes uh, ham if you make it with um if you make her with two lights one monster so 
yeah, with our current setup, it is okay, but it's just not like the best way to go about it. So I think we could mill some more. We could obviously also uh, look into a fusion. No, not really. We still are uh, missing out on a dart. So I think we'll just go ham and uh, just let's get rid of our uh, Japanese secret rare to uh, yeah mill three cards. Did we look into the deck? No, we did not. Emsati, at least now a dark and Okay, this is amazing. Um, yeah, the Night Sorp Serpent will summon itself. And now we have uh, like really everything. Okay, I think I know how to go about this. We'll just see. Uh, overlay these two into Bahamut. Bahamut effect detach Rhino Heart. Uh, to special summon Toad in the Anima Zone. That's how it goes. Then we're going to use the Bahamut and the Tear Cache to go into Cross Sheep. And then we will overlay these two into Redoer. And then obviously Effect Redoer, banish itself, send these to Grave. Effect Sharon. Sharon. And yeah, we still don't have an aqua. <laughs> but we could use the toad, but that's just not worth it. Um, yeah, Sharon and the Imseti, I feel like. Yeah, it has to be the Imseti. Go uh, to bottom. Make the Mud Dragon. And then Effect of Cross Sheep, which you can't really see, but it's up here. Hello. Nah, or, bah, or whatever you guys say. And we are resummoning, I think, the Rhino Heart. And now the question is do we continue to play or do we not? Uh, so I think we have to leave it here. In the end phase, Redoer comes back. Um, obviously, a bit sad that we did get to uh, make some uh, other tier monster, right? Otherwise, we could have really linked into IP and had some fun here. Uh, but it's still all right. Uh, we have Toad as an Omni Negate, right? Giving us back our tier cash if we've used them. Uh, we have Saliac Life, right? Which obviously uh, yeah, can pop the Rhino Heart. Who is protected by the Mud Dragon? That's a bit annoying, but I mean, it can be also beneficial because it protects our Toad. Redoer for some annoying shenanigans, a potential pop. Um, yeah, it's not the greatest end port. But given the fact that we started with Wolf and Fearless in our hand, I think this is overall still pretty good. Let's go into the next test hand and uh, let's hopefully show some uh, Light Spawn cards, right? Okay, my friends, let's continue. Let's do some cuts and whatever. And let's draw some more cards and let's see. One, two, three, four, five. And uh, yeah, while looking at these sleeves, while looking at this playmat, I'm just really hoping that uh, Konami's idea of a ban towards uh, like anime girls or whatever you want to call that, or like colorful playmats, uh, that that shit doesn't go through. Obviously, this is official Konami artwork, right? Obviously, not an official Konami product, but this is uh, the, yeah, the other field spell of tier elements. I can never really pronounce it. Uh, these are official OCG sleeves. And I mean, beneath this playmat, I have other tier elements playmats, right? Uh, an OCG one up here, obviously my custom made one here. Uh, yeah, let's just really hope that Konami is not cucking us uh, with this uh, change. Uh, although I would not really suffer, I have everything from tier, but uh, that's about it. We have Wolf again in our hand, we have this again in our hand. Uh, yeah, our hand again a bit iffy, but uh, yeah, it's not a jiffy or whatever you want to call it nowadays. Um, because these two cards are more or less already full combo. Um, let's see what these other three will do for us um, in addition to that. So we activate Vice Effect in hand, putting Wolf on top of our deck, to special summon himself, and then mill one, two cards, right? One, two. The Sark, who cares? Wolf, obviously, we put it there, and uh, he's going to summon itself. And then Wolf as a non-tuner and Vice as a tuner are going to Synchro Summon 
into our beautiful, very beautiful, very shiny uh, Minerva. And this time, because we mate her with two light spawns, her effect is going to activate and we can send, um, yeah, different attributes. So uh, sadly, we can't send something like Wolf and, um, and Phyllis directly. That would be really cool. Uh, but sadly, both of them are beast warriors, so that doesn't really work. You have to look on your graveyard. What do you have? In this case, we have wolf. So we're going to send the other one and we're going to send Vice because Vice is going to revive the wolf. And uh, yeah, I mean, we're going to send it into the graveyard and then, uh, yeah, Phyllis effect, summon herself, Vice effect, summon or revive the wolf. Uh, a, a bit annoying, right, that you have to use the extra step, but uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter. And then another tuner and non-tuner. Going to make our good friend Vivisa's Amritara, another shiny boy. I really like to summon them up here um, because we're not going to go into a link immediately. And if we do, we have the space, uh, right? Because the biggest enemy in this deck is D-Shifter bricks and not having enough space on your field uh right so that's the issue so we're summoning him up here and using his effect to search and we're going to search in most cases we're going to search pearl rhino and uh yeah we'll do that usually it's pearl rhino or scream and a third would be saliak uh that's how i do it um even though i think saliak is better than scream having the additional mill power in your opponent's turn. Uh, yeah, it's just adding more confusion uh, to them. And usually we have enough monster in the gates, but leaving that by the side, now with the search, we can use the effect of our uh, adult or grown up Minerva and have four light sworn cards, right? These four, uh, not even different names, right? For uh, what is it? Judgment, no punishment dragon, uh, but yeah, banish four light swans or up to four light swans. And that means we will mill four more cards. One, two, three, and four. Uh, not the best, right? Here we could now search the Punishment Dragon, but we don't play him. And uh, yeah, in the end, this is a bit mid, right? We get our Dark though into the grave, that's pretty nice. And we have our Shuffler. Uh, so yeah, many decks now will have to be very careful with how they're going to uh, approach this. But that's not it, right? We continue with our full combo, overlaying our very shiny friends here. Uh, again, I'd like to do it up here, but it hopefully doesn't matter. Um, and we obviously overlay into the zombie vampire. And another thing that doesn't matter, now who do you want to de uh, detach? It doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, detach for effect, and then let's mill four horrors, tear cash, uh, another Horus and Perler, not Perler Rhino, Rivesoft. Uh, yeah, we have all Msetis and the uh, the Sarcophagus in Grave. That's just really annoying. Uh, but yeah, now we have option, Red Zombie Vampire, like obviously milled from our opponent. Maybe they've milled something cool that we want to summon. Uh, but obviously for this test hand, we're going to leave that out. We have two options now. Either we're going to summon the Imseti and activate the Tear Cache in Grave to mill two more. Or we're going to uh, summon the tear cache with the zombie vampire effect and build three and have a card on board, which I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, yeah, just overall, I think the better choice. And that means build three malicious Nessie and another charge of light brigade. So now we have our dark aqua and we have access to malicious. Um, and uh, yeah, now let's us think what else we can do, right? We have the planet to either search as a Rhino Heart for a normal summon and to uh, obviously fusion, or to search our lovely, what is it called again? Sharon. Uh, sorry, how could I forget? So yeah, I think we're just going to do that. Pearl Rhino activate and we're going to add the Sharon. You can now uh, Sharon send halfness. That's pretty cool. And maybe that's something we'll do. Then we can normal summon the serpent. Uh, that sounds really nice. Before that, let's clean up our field a bit and uh, clean it up. 
with a cross sheep and yeah, summon it up here. And before we start milling with Sharon and so on and so on, let's clean up uh, or let's make sure that we're not milling the militias. Not sure how it goes for you, but I have terrible luck, right? If I'm not using the militias immediately, I will now mill two militias so that this card is dead. Uh, so yeah, don't be uh, don't be stingy, right? Uh, make use of your material. Where is he? Okay, then we're going to summon another malicious. Um, again, as so often, right? I mean, I think it's pretty basic knowledge at this point in the game. Uh, but zone two and four are your friends, right? If you like, want to use some uh, monsters and you don't have uh, everything perfectly planned out, summon them in these zones because you want to have zone one, three, and five always clear uh, due to the link errors, right? If you need to summon an IP or if you want to summon something else in that regard, um, if your extra deck looks maybe a bit different, have these zones free of uh, rubbish cards or uh, yeah, something alike, regardless. Now we're going to summon Sharon, and the question is, do we detach the Serpent immediately or do we detach Halfness? I think we are going to go for Halfness, uh, Halfness goes, and then uh, Sharon, uh, I think it's Sharon, mill three first, and then Halfness will do something. Yeah, in a new chain, Halfness and Felis, Felis to summon, let's summon it here, we have some space, and then Halfness. Halfness has some options i hope we have not milled yeah we don't have a rhino heart so the nessie doesn't really help us but it doesn't really matter i like to really recycle the zombie vampire here um right sometimes putting in seti back is nice but the only sark is in graveyard so that doesn't really matter anyway and yeah the other options are mid or not possible at best so putting the zombie vampire back um for the future or yeah whatever and then half goes into the grave going to summon the mud dragon activating cross sheep cross sheep effect and uh yeah it's a bit annoying right we could revive this use the effect but we have blocked up our zones a bit maybe we're going to do it regardless let me think let me see yeah, actually our other options are uh, terrible so uh, yeah we're just going to do this and now the question is what do we do next um again i think we should clean up our zones a bit but the question is how do we go about doing so so i think we'll have to go like this clean up the space a bit and summon our drag guides very nice then let me think for a moment. I think normal summon uh, serpent and yeah, serpent overlay with this motherfucker into Bahamut. Bahamut effect. Put back the mud dragon. Summon out the toad. Then one, two, three. Go and make a three material Appaloosa. Put the dice here so that you can see. So now we are in a bit of an annoying situation, but I think the best play is to, uh, yeah, we have to link away Sharon. I don't like that. I really despise doing that, but uh, we'll have to do it, right? So we're banishing our last malicious. Summon Malicious, uh, and then Malicious and Sharon uh, link into IP, you don't wonder why IP, not something else, set the Saliac, oh, it's already there, yeah, so this is our end board, let's talk about it, why it's actually not that bad. So we have uh, a Saliac that's not live yet, let's talk about it in a moment. We have IP, which is not really live. Obviously, we don't really want to link away these three cards here, but we're going to talk about it in a bit. We have a three material Appaloosa. We have a Toad, right? And we have the Dragite Spell and Trap Negate. So Spell, Omni, and three Monster Negates. Plus, what is this? Uh, actually, we have Keldor as well. 
Uh, yeah, the cool thing is Toad is going to put back a uh, tier cache after we've used it, right? Put it in our hand. Then we can tier cache as a quick effect, summon, mill three. And now we have a tier elements monster on board for Saliac. And we have a like bum monster who like, doesn't do anything else uh, for IP. And IP is, uh, yeah, then going into SP. So this is a Keldo, one interruption, a spell and trap negate, a mill three, an omni negate, three monster negates. IP into SP, so it's two, uh, two banishes, uh, a monster negate, and I mean, depending on what we mill and what else happens, we could potentially pop cards as well. But this is uh, this is very, very situational, while the other things are a bit more uh, reliable. So one, two, three, six, if you want to count all of them, eight, uh, and seven. Seven different types of interruptions from monster to spells to omnis to banishes to shuffles, to all kinds of things, right? That's really nice. And uh, yeah, that's the TN port that we know to some extent, right? The diverse interactions that this archetype offers. Let's go into one more test stand. I feel we have the time for that. Let's go, let's go. Okay, my friends, let's cut the deck a couple times and let's see what our last test stand has in store for us. I hope we'll get to summon some tier elements fusions. So far, we have not really been able to do that. I mean, that would be just terrible. But uh, yeah, let's just hope the heart of the cards gifts us a hand that maybe doesn't contain wolf in the starting hand. Oh, uh, well, we'll have to see. And five, please be good. We have halfness again in hand. For turn zero plays, that's great, but not for much more. Okay, Pearl Rhino, okay, Pearl Rhino, okay, Pearl Rhino, and Mudora. What the fuck is this one? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, we'll have to see. So terraforming, obviously, or Rife's off. Uh, again, uh, Rarity Collection 2 just came out on the day of this recording. So obviously the QCR is not here yet. Uh, yeah. <sighs> anyway, Rife's off effect at Fenrir. Why actually did I shuffle? At Fenrir, Fenrir effect to special, at effect to add Cash Tira Tierleman. Then um, swap field spells, Pearl Rhino. The question is Pearl Rhino for Sharon or for Rhino Heart? And yeah, okay. And here's the Sharon. Rhino Heart, I don't think it's too bad here, but I mean, we'll have to go with Sharon, right? If times are tough, we'll have to go with her. And let's just go for it. Wait, ah, uh, what do we discard? Uh, do we discard the Mudora? I want to normal summon him if really. Let's discard the Mudora. Okay, now fingers crossed. The uh, three, okay. Saliak, that's nice. Another shuffler and malicious. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, uh, we, we can play, but obviously this is on just not going as great as we wanted to. Uh, Saliak effect. Um, yeah, now we are going to add the, where is he? Oh yeah, the Rhino Heart. Question is, malicious effect right now? Yeah, I think we'll have to. Let's not be greedy, let's not be stupid. Malicious effect right now. Summon malicious, question we link away immediately yes Fenrir is great but let's just we are going to be fucking greedy cross sheep right uh, let's maybe not put it on Sharon's face that's a bit disrespectful um and then we're going to special tier cash banish Fenrir Saliak let's just spend Saliak we're not playing uh, Reef anyway. And then effect mill three. Uh, uh, could be worse, could be better. Uh, the Nessie is really important here. Normal Rhino Heart. Normal Rhino Heart. And then what? Send Merly? Send Merly, Merly effect. Merly, Rhino, and is that the way? Is that the way to go? Ah. Uh, I think it has to be the way to go. And then we're going to make 
So summon Kaleido Heart. Um, what is it? Chain Link one, Powder Rhino, Chain Link two, Cross Sheep. Because the fusion was summoned, we can uh, summon back uh, a monster, level four or lower, right? You know how it goes. And then Powder Rhino destroy Kaleido. Kaleido effect uh, revive and then effect on summon to send. We could send a fusion here, but no, actually we can't. Uh, Merly has already triggered. Uh, yeah, I think we'll just send Scream and then Dragon Link. No, and then in a new chain, Dragon Link and Scream, a Dragon Link to send to send Felis and Scream to add Saliak. Um, Felis effect to summon back. And now let me think, let me think, let me think. Are we going to link away? Yeah, we have to link away immediately, even though it's not that great. We have cluster fucked our board again. Getting rid of this Shaven after summoning her is just so annoying if you don't want to make redo her early. Uh, could have planeted her, but there's just nothing great in the grave anyway. And just swapping Shaven for Mud Dragon is just, I mean, it's. Just, not amazing anyway, right? You're not getting really anything by that. Uh, anyway, uh, linking away into IP. Into IP. Uh, yep. And then we are going to combo. Uh, yeah, obviously these two and Synchro away. Two Light Swarms going to make Effect obviously on summon or on synchro summon. Um, send two light swarms. Uh, see our grave. Yeah, uh, it has to be. Actually, it doesn't really matter. But it has to be vice, and let's just get rid of one of the wolves. And yeah, wolf effect, obviously, and then vice effect, wolf effect, wolf to summon, vice to summon Felis. And then link these, uh, synchro these, they are going to uh, synchro into Amritara. Not sure if this is the best option, but it is the most greedy option. And that's what we're here for. I mean, we are gamblers to some extent, or at least people call us that. Uh, Amritara effect, uh, going to add a uh, scream. And yeah, we'll uh, just activate scream immediately. We have so much mill potential here and so much more as well. Ay, 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 we have, do we still have, yeah, we still have one more malicious. And uh, yeah, so much more fun. I, I think we'll activate Amritara effect. Uh, destroy Sharon to gain a attack boost. Doesn't really matter. Sharon effect is going to trigger Sharon, and Imseti will make Mud Dragon. We're gambling here uh, to get another Aqua, right? Just the Mud Dragon is fine, um, right? It protects our Darks here, or at least the relevant ones. I think we're just going to mill. Uh, we're just going to mill, 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 mill. Uh, we have not milled. Rhino Heart, I think. I think we might have had already. I uh, know we normally summoned him, I think. Uh, regardless, um, effect Scream, uh, because we have a tier card and someone was summoned. One, two, and three. Okay, Beast King. Finally, we might get Lulu onto our final end board. Pretty lovely. Okay, so now let's use Minerva and banish our only four Light Spawns. And let's fingers crossed that we are going to mill something. We're act and looking for something water based. Uh, no, no, no. What the fuck? Actually, in this. What? In the same order? What? Ha? Huh? These are impossible. Uh, impossible odds. Whatever. It's not even good. It's not even good. Um. Question is Felis or Wolf? Which one do we summon? 
Let's go with wolf. I th it shouldn't matter. Uh, overlay. Right. Doesn't really matter. Overlay into the zombie vampire. Detach the Amritara and mill a uh, four and summon one back. Okay, that's amazing. Uh, tier cash we have used, um, but now we don't have to go for the rank four play. We can actually go for a synchro play. Absolutely amazing. Uh, in which zone do we summon though? Um, yeah, synchro with these two into Dragite. Dragite. Um, anyway, uh, banish malicious. I think that should be the last one. Uh, yep, banish malicious. Summon malicious. Defense position. So this is going to be our end board. It's it could be a bit sexier, I think, but overall, I th it's still fine. Uh, setting the Saliak, of course. Uh, we have another planet for follow-up. And half, uh, Halfness in, in hand, right? For potential mill 6 or whatever. Our Grave is actually loaded. We have Mudora and uh, Keldo. Two Shufflers plus Beast King to make Lulu. And I mean, we're going to make Lulu super easy, right? We have the Holy Trinity of Tier and Board. Kaleido, Saliak, Pearl Rhino. For Shuffle, Pop, Negate uh, and Fusion setup, right? Uh, they summon a monster. You know, you know how it goes, right? They activate a monster effect, we negate, send Kaleido, Kaleido comes back, activate the effect to shuffle back, and sending a tier name, which will trigger a fusion, which in this case will go uh, and make Lulu with the, uh, the Beast King. Activate, uh, like the fusion activates Pearl Rhino as well to pop. Uh, yeah, this, these three are the holy trinity of tier end boards. If you get these, I mean you're cooking. Anyway, two shufflers, access to Lulu, uh, shuffle, pop, and uh, negate. Mill six with halfness and scream. Zombie vampire. I mean, doesn't really matter. It's not a quick effect as far as I know. We have the dragite as a, a spell and trap negate and IP. And IP can really go off. Let's put these cards to the side. IP here can obviously IP and malicious, for example, into an SP. Right. Two banishes, right? On summon and as a quick effect. You know how SP works, I hope. Uh, and with whatever, right? The Mod Dragon, if you don't want him for whatever reason. Uh, but yeah, Zombie Vampire, IP, and uh, what's his name? Malicious. All these uh, three, right? But IP uh, is a link to. So these three here can also make us a three material Appaloosa. So that's the options. Uh, we have here. Let's put it a bit to the side so maybe it's a bit easier to see. So this IP can go into a three material Appaloosa, into an SP. We have Huffiness and Scream for mill potential. Um, Kaleido is going to make us Lulu and we have two shufflers. So two shufflers, uh, either IP into Appaloosa, IP into SP. So that's in minimum two negates or two interactions. Uh, a Mud Dragon Protection, a Shuffle Bag, a Negate, a Pop, a Spell and Trap Negate, Mill 6, a Special Summon Negate. I mean, we have everything. It looks like I've just thrown cards onto the field, which I mean, I kind of have, but I hope you could follow. And uh, I mean, hey, hope it was kind of educational. Hope you uh, kind of learned something new. I hope I didn't fuck up. Too bad, it's 3 a.m. You know how it goes. Anyway, into the outro we go. Now these were some test hands. Hope again I didn't fuck up too much. Again, recording at 6 a.m. Not the best thing. Go to bed on reasonable times, my friends. Don't be like me. Anyway, if you enjoyed, smack that like button and subscribe to not miss out on future tier elements and other Yu-Gi-Oh content. Let me know if you have other like suggestions for tier elements lists or something else. I'd like to chat with you guys in the comments down below. And that's it for today. Take care, my friends. Bye-bye.